Thrawn, written by Timothy Zahn, reintroduces the legendary character Grand Admiral Thrawn into the new Star Wars canon. The novel charts Thrawn's rise from an exiled Chiss on a desolate world to one of the most respected and feared military strategists in the Galactic Empire. After Thrawn is discovered by Imperial forces, he claims to have vital information regarding the threats in the unknown regions of space. His knowledge and potential value lead to an audience with Emperor Palpatine, who becomes intrigued by Thrawn's intellect and tactical prowess. The Emperor sees an opportunity to use the alien to both learn about the unknown regions and bolster the Empire's military strength. Thus, Thrawn is enlisted in the Imperial Navy as the only non-human officer, a significant exception reflecting both his potential and the Emperor's interest in him. Thrawn's quick progression through the ranks is largely due to his ability to analyze and understand his enemies. He studies their art and culture, using these insights to predict their moves and counter their strategies, something that strikes others as unusual but proves incredibly successful. Thrawn is accompanied by his aide, Ensign Eli Vanto, a young man who initially serves as a translator but becomes Thrawn's protege. Despite facing prejudice and skepticism from those who see non-humans as inferior, Thrawn continually demonstrates his value through his brilliant strategies and tactical wins. Thrawn's climb is not without stumbling blocks. He encounters political machinations, racism, and resistance within the imperial hierarchy from officers who believe in the Empire's human-centric policies and are envious or fearful of Thrawn's talents. Above all, he has a significant adversary in the form of Night Swan, a cunning strategist behind multiple rebellions and criminal activities that challenge the Empire. Night Swan becomes Thrawn's intellectual equal and nemesis, engaging him in a cat-and-mouse game that spans several confrontations. Amidst these power plays and battles, Thrawn is involved in uncovering corruption within the Empire's ranks, leading to the exposure and downfall of several high-profile figures. This anti-corruption stance earns Thrawn both allies and enemies as his actions disrupt the established order and the clandestine profit schemes of influential Imperials. The novel also introduces Arinda Price, who eventually becomes the ruthless governor of Lothal, a key planet in the animated series Star Wars Rebels. Price's story is interwoven with Thrawn's as she rises from a mining family on Lothal to acquire power and influence within the Imperial government. Showing her own form of cunning and ruthlessness, she aligns herself with Thrawn in a mutually beneficial relationship to further her own goals and survive the political battleground of the Imperial Center on Coruscant. Thrawn's rise is often marked by the tension between his loyalty to the Empire and his mysterious ultimate intentions regarding the Chiss ascendancy and the threats in the unknown regions. While he professes loyalty to the Emperor and dedicates himself to strengthening and defending the Empire, there's an underlying sense that he has his own agenda and that his true loyalties may lie with his people and their safety. As Thrawn's successes mount, he is eventually promoted to Grand Admiral by the Emperor, solidifying his status as one of the Empire's most formidable military minds. Night Swan and Thrawn's final confrontation occurs on the planet Baton, where Night Swan has been supporting a local insurgency. Thrawn's strategic prowess is on full display as he manages the complex situation balancing the need to protect civilian lives with the demands of his superiors for a swift and decisive end to the rebellion. In a climactic encounter on Bataan, Thrawn comes face to face with Night Swan, who offers him a partnership to fight against the corrupt empire and potentially benefit the galaxy as a whole. Thrawn, however, declines, revealing that he joined the empire to enlist its help against a far greater threat that the Chiss are facing in the unknown regions a mysterious and powerful enemy that Thrawn fears could one day threaten the Empire itself. Thrawn captures Night Swan, but allows him a chance to escape, though Night Swan ultimately chooses to go down with his cause. As the book nears its conclusion, Thrawn's successful quelling of the rebellion on Bataan leads to not only his promotion, but also Price's consolidation of power as governor of Lothal. Price, however, betrays Thrawn to some extent by orchestrating the destruction of the planet's civilian population to eliminate all insurgents, a decision Thrawn disapproves of 
as it goes against his principles of minimizing civilian casualties. Despite this, Thrawn's reputation remains intact, as most of the higher-ups in the Empire see the outcome on Bataan as a necessary ruthlessness in the face of rebellion. The novel ends with Thrawn continuing to serve the Empire as one of its most effective leaders, while still holding on to his deeper, possibly conflicting loyalties to the Chiss Ascendancy. Throughout the story, Thrawn remains a fascinating character study in loyalty, strategy, and the balance of a brilliant mind caught between two very different worlds. Thrawn's partnership with Eli Vanto comes to an end as Thrawn recognizes Vanto's potential and arranges for him to be assigned to the Chiss Ascendancy, where his talents can be better utilized, leaving open the possibility of further interactions and developments in future stories. With his unorthodox methods and strategic insight, Thrawn stands as a symbol of both the potential for integrity within the Empire and the threat of its overarching tyrannical system, poised to continue his complex dance of allegiance between the Empire he serves and the unknown dangers on the horizon. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.